Hi, this is Kim Scoble. I've participated in many outdoor art festivals the last few years and I've learned a lot, mostly from other artists, about setting up my display. I'm hoping to give you a few tips. First, you will need a tent. If you're not sure if you want to do more than a few festivals, you might want to borrow a tent. The most affordable tent and the one that I used for many years is an Easy Up pop-up tent. They are lightweight and, as the name says, easy to put up. Make sure you get the side walls as well, as you never know if it might rain. Also, if you do a show that lasts more than one day, you must be able to close it up at night. The next thing you will need is weights. Wind can be a real problem, and you must be sure that your tent is secure. You can use all sorts of things for weights, such as sandbags or weights from weightlifting set. They should be about 30 to 40 pounds each. Check online for many ideas. I made mine out of PVC pipe filled with cement with handles attached for carrying. I use bungee cords for attaching it to the top of my tent as well as the legs. You'll need something to display your work on. I'm an oil painter and so I have to hang my paintings on something. Again, there are lots of ideas on the internet and you might have to be creative. The setup I use is made from hollow cord doors covered with carpeting and attached using zip ties and bolts. Because they are homemade, they are half the cost of pro panels, which are quite popular. I use drapery hooks to hang my paintings. When you show up at an art festival, you never know if the ground will be flat or not. It's usually not. I always have a box of shims and wood blocks to put under the legs where the ground is uneven. This is especially helpful when dealing with a curb. A lot of shows occur on town streets and curbs are just something you might have to deal with. Of course, many artists and crafters just need tables or shelving for their product products. These tablecloths are great because they look good and are a great place to hide things. I keep a variety of different shopping bag sizes underneath my little table and just pull them out when I need them. The main thing is to keep your space attractive and welcoming to the public. The days are long at an art festival, so make sure you have a chair to sit on. If possible, it's much better to have a tall chair like this captain's chair. It makes it easy to talk to people without always having to stand up. I suggest that you are able to take credit cards. I use Square, which is free to get and easy to use. Many people don't carry cash anymore, and you'd hate to miss out on a sale because you're not capable of taking a credit card. On the other hand, many people will have cash, and you should be sure to have change with you. It's also a good idea to have business cards to pass out and a mailing list sign up. I hope these tips are helpful. I've made great friends with other artists who have given me really helpful ideas. There's a camaraderie among the various artists, and you're bound to see them at other shows. These shows have definitely helped to increase my sales, and it's a good way to have others see your work. Good luck, and have fun!